This is code.org. I'm currently working on CS Discoveries, their physical computing unit, and I'm on the lesson Project Make a Game. I have some code here. I have a screen thing here. If you haven't, you need to go back and do the other parts of this lesson. Watch my tutorials if you're stuck. With your functions now defined, yep, we made some functions, you can call them whenever you need. Go through your event handlers or anywhere else in your program that your function should be used and, and add calls to the function as needed. So, a call to the function, right, because the computer will not run these functions unless we ask it to. It says, yep, block a code, right, but it doesn't run any of this. So to get it to run it, we got to do this. E I need to call them each time each of these buttons is pressed. I'll explain why. So this one doesn't have a parameter, but let's do, uh, oh no, move controller will have our parameter. Move controller, and then what change is going to be, like I was saying on the last one, is, oh, ah, these are the screen ones. This is not where I want them. Yeah, <laughs> okay. And the event that the L button is down, what this end is going to be, what our parameter or our argument is going to be, what we're going to give to this function, is if the L button is down, does X increase when we go to the left or decrease? It decreases. So our parameter, I'm going to just use a negative 1 for the parameter. And I could define a variable and just pass the variable if I want. But that means when I, when the, I hit L, the computer says move controller. Oh, where's that? Uh, oh, here's that code. Okay. Change. Oh, what's change? Uh, negative one. Okay. Now, oh, I have a new variable. Okay. I'm going to get the property controller's X value. So this X value. And then I'm going to add one to it. Add change to it. Oh, well, what was change? Negative one. Oh, so I need to decrease it by one. Okay. Let's set the new property and show X at the new location, right? Controller's set property. This was get set property of controllers x value to x which is our variable i probably want to change it more than one though let's try changing it five now i got rid of the parameter for this because our win func check win which i'm going to do each time that someone moves because i want to know hey did you actually win yet and so each time someone presses the button we'll move and then we'll d make sure no one has won and since this is going to be similar for the other one, I'm going to use control C to copy and control V to paste it here because I just need to now take out the negative five and make it a positive five. Because if the right button is pressed, if the right button is pressed, X should be increasing. All right. That's the time I want to run those functions. Is there any else I need for a function? Nope, I don't think so. So awesome. Let's uh, keep going.